My beloved child, if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you believe in God, type, I really love you, God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type Amen. My dear child, I see the burdens you carry, the mountains you climb, and the valleys that test your spirit. I know that the path is rugged and the night is long, but hear me now, for I am here to guide you through every dark hour and every tear you shed. I am training you, beloved, not merely to get through these challenges, but to emerge from them with a radiance that reflects my glory. The trials you face are not just stumbling blocks, but stepping stones to a higher place, a place where your spirit is stronger, your faith deeper, and your capacity for love greater. This transformation is no ordinary change. It is a divine metamorphosis, and it is accomplished through the power of my Holy Spirit. So when the weight of life presses down upon your shoulders, do not run faster into the chaos. Instead, slow down. Come into my presence. Feel my peace. Speak to me, for I am always listening. Invite my spirit to enter your situation as you pour out the intricacies of your difficulties in our intimate conversation. Place your requests at my feet, my child, and await with anticipation. I know how you long for immediate answers, for swift resolution, but trust in my timing. I am working in ways you cannot see, knitting together a masterpiece from the threads of your experiences. The resolutions I weave are never just for the moment, but are designed for everlasting impact. I am sculpting your soul, crafting your character, and preparing you for an eternal destiny that far outweighs this momentary affliction. Do not misjudge the silence during your waiting as inaction. For in the quiet moments, in the seemingly still times, I am often doing my greatest work within you. These struggles you face, they are not only about you, they are a part of a grander narrative, a cosmic battle between light and darkness. The manner in which you confront these adversities, wielding trust and thankfulness as your weapons, brings me honor and illuminates the heavens with your faith. Remember when you choose to lean on me, to put your unwavering trust in my eternal goodness, you magnify me. And each time you approach me with a heart full of gratitude, even before the dawn breaks on your situation, you are practicing a sacred rhythm that reshapes your very soul. You may wonder, how can I be joyful in times of trouble? My child, joy is not the absence of pain. It is the presence of me, your Lord, in all circumstances. It is the steadfast knowledge that I am with you, working all things for good, crafting beauty from ashes, and leading you to streams of living water, where your joy will be made full. Persist in your prayers, for persistence is the key to the door of spiritual maturity. It is the exercise that strengthens your faith muscles, teaching you to depend not on mortal strength, but on my immortal power. And as you grow in this spiritual discipline, you will see a transformation in yourself. The face you lift to me in prayer will start to reflect my glory, and the life you live will be a testimony of my grace. You are crowned with glory, my precious one, for I have made you a little lower than the angels and have adorned you with honor. You are destined not for the dust from which you came, but for the everlasting kingdom prepared for you. And in this kingdom, the trials of today will shine as jewels in your crown, each one a testament to your faith and my faithfulness. Therefore, Arise each morning with expectancy in your heart. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, 
present your requests to me. And together we will walk this journey, hand in hand, heart to heart, until the day breaks and the shadows flee away. For now, rest in my embrace, find solace in my words, and let the peace of my presence envelop you as you trust in my unfailing love. You are my beloved, in whom I am well pleased. My precious child, feel the warmth of my embrace as I speak to you. Pause for a moment and let the reality of my eternal love for you sink deeply into your heart, for it is in the quietude of your soul that my voice resonates with clarity and strength. Reflect upon the creation, the wondrous works of my hands, and know that they are but a whisper of my power. Yet, in all of my vast creation, nothing moves me more than you, my beloved child. From the very foundations of the world, I foreknew you, predestined you to be adopted as my own. The joy that surged through heaven when you made the decision to follow me. Listen, as I tell you of a love story, the greatest ever told. It is a tale not of earthly romance, but of a divine covenant, a pledge written in the very blood of my son. When sin erected a barrier between us, I was not content to let it stand. My heart yearned for you, ached for our reunion. So I did the unimaginable. I sent my only son to bear the iniquities of the world. It was my love for you that held Jesus on the cross, not the nails that pierced his hands and feet. He could have descended at any moment, but your redemption, your freedom, was worth every sorrow he endured. The agony of separation I felt when he who knew no sin became sin for you. Yet, through this excruciating sacrifice, the most extraordinary exchange took place. My righteousness became yours. I made him who had no sin to be sin for you, so that in him you might become the righteousness of God. It is this righteousness that envelops you now, that marks you as mine. And so, my dear one, you are to live not in the shadow of guilt, but in the light of my grace. For guilt speaks of debts yet unpaid, of punishment yet to come. But at the cross, your debt was settled, your punishment born. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Do you understand the magnitude of this freedom? It is not a mere reprieve or a temporary stay. It is an eternal liberation. You are not called to live as a freed prisoner, constantly looking over your shoulder in fear of re-enslavement. You are called to live as royalty, as a co-heir with Christ, adorned with the very righteousness of God. So come, beloved, live in the joy that is your rightful inheritance. Each day is a fresh canvas upon which my mercies paint new beginnings. Let go of the shackles of your past, the worries of your present, and the uncertainties of your future. I have them all in my hands, and my plans for you are for good and not for harm, to give you a future and a hope. Let not the world dictate your worth or your identity. You are not defined by your failures, nor are you confined by your weaknesses. You are who I say you are, chosen, holy, and dearly loved. Wear these truths as a garment, cloaking yourself in the dignity they afford. And in those moments when you stumble, when you find yourself ensnared by sin, remember, my mercies are new every morning. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Run back into my arms, for my love is not a fickle flame that wanes at every misstep. It is an unquenchable fire, a beacon that shines all the brighter in the darkness. Rejoice, my child, for your name is inscribed upon my hands, your image etched upon my heart. And there is nothing in all of creation, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, 
nor anything else in all creation that will be able to separate you from my love that is in Christ Jesus your Lord. Now, live freely, love boldly, and shine brightly, for you are my light in the world. Go forth and bear fruit that will last, fruit that testifies to the magnificent truth of the gospel. Be at peace, for I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Your joy, your peace, your purpose, they are all found in me. Rejoice in the life you have been given, for it is truly, profoundly, a gift beyond compare. As I beckon you into this intimate space, hear my voice, the voice of the Risen One, your eternal shepherd. I am the living embodiment of hope, the kindling of joy in your heart, and the endless wellspring of love that flows for you. Imagine, if you will, the vastness of a universe painted with the stars as my canvas, and yet, within that immeasurable space, it is you, my child, who captures my gaze. Revel in the splendor of serving a savior who dances with life, whose heartbeat is the rhythm of creation itself. I am with you, within the morning's first light and the evening's last star. Through tempests and tranquility, in the valley of shadows, or atop the mountain of triumphs. My promise to be your steadfast companion endures. It is a promise that weaves through the tapestry of time and into the eternal embrace. Hold fast to these truths, for they are the anchor in your storms and the compass in your quests. I call you to stride with confidence on the path of life, gripping my hand with the trust of a child. For I am the one whose grasp is unyielding, whose strength is unfailing. As you place each foot forward, remember the gifts I lay before you. My enduring presence, the absolution of your trespasses, and the assurance of celestial joys that await. This bounty, so magnificent and boundless, defies your earthly understanding. Yet, it is yours. Why, you might ask, is worship so vital? It is because in the act of worship, you touch the hem of heaven. It bridges the expanse between my realm and yours, offering a connection that surpasses knowledge. When you sing a hymn, when you pour over my word, when you kneel in prayer, alone or united with your brothers and sisters, you declare my sovereignty. And in that proclamation, there is power. Behold the myriad paths to worship, the melody of a praise song, the commitment to scripture, the quietude of prayer, or the reverence in witnessing the marvels I have sculpted across the earth and skies. Yet worship can also be found in the mundane, in the smile you offer to a stranger, in the comfort you provide to the sorrowful, in the bread you share with the hungry. For when you embody my love in your actions, you elevate the most ordinary moment into a hymn of worship. Everything you do, every breath you take, every word you speak, let it be a testament to my glory. For your life is a precious melody in the symphony of creation, a melody that I cherish and delight in. As you ponder these things, let them seep deep into your bones, become the marrow of your spirit. Remember the garden from which your journey began and the paradise that awaits. In between, every step, every stumble, and every stride is part of a grand pilgrimage that I orchestrate with tenderness and purpose. And so, I implore you to embrace the call of this pilgrimage with fervor. Do not be daunted by the unknowns that lie ahead, nor be ensnared by the chains of yesterday. I am the architect of your tomorrows and the redeemer of your yesterdays. In me, all things are made new, every morning, every moment. I witness your struggles and your triumphs, your whispers in the dark, and your shouts of joy in the light. There is not a tear that escapes my notice, nor a laugh that doesn't resonate through my heavens. You are my child, fearfully and wonderfully made destined to shine forth my love to a world in need. Therefore, 
rise up with the dawn, stand tall in the noontide, and rest peacefully when the night falls. For in every season, under every sky, my love is a canopy above you, my grace the ground beneath you. Live boldly, love fiercely, and worship wholeheartedly. For in doing so, you embody the very essence of my kingdom here on earth. With each day granted, may your heart be courageous, your spirit generous, and your life a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to me. This is your true and proper worship. Remember always that you are never alone, for I am as close as the whisper of your heart, the Creator calling to His creation, the Father who adores His child. Walk with me and let the chapters of your life be the storytelling of divine grace. For in the grand narrative of eternity, your story is interwoven with my love, a love that never fades, never ends, and never fails. I see the burdens you carry, the mountains you climb, and the valleys that test your spirit. I know that the path is rugged and the night is long, but hear me now, for I am here to guide you through every dark hour and every tear you shed. I am training you, beloved, not merely to get through these challenges, but to emerge from them with a radiance that reflects my glory. The trials you face are not just stumbling blocks, but stepping stones to a higher place, a place where your spirit is stronger, your faith deeper, and your capacity for love greater. This transformation is no ordinary change. It is a divine metamorphosis, and it is accomplished through the power of my Holy Spirit. So, when the weight of life presses down upon your shoulders, do not run faster into the chaos. Instead, slow down. Come into my presence. Feel my peace. Speak to me, for I am always listening. Invite my spirit to enter your situation as you pour out the intricacies of your difficulties in our intimate conversation. Place your requests at my feet, my child, and await with anticipation. I know how you long for immediate answers, for swift resolution, but trust in my timing. I am working in ways you cannot see, knitting together a masterpiece from the threads of your experiences. The resolutions I weave are never just for the moment, but are designed for everlasting impact. I am sculpting your soul, crafting your character, and preparing you for an eternal destiny that far outweighs this momentary affliction. Do not misjudge the silence during your waiting as inaction. For in the quiet moments, in the seemingly still times, I am often doing my greatest work within you. These struggles you face, they are not only about you, they are a part of a grander narrative, a cosmic battle between light and darkness. The manner in which you confront these adversities, wielding trust and thankfulness as your weapons, brings me honor and illuminates the heavens with your faith. Remember, when you choose to lean on me, to put your unwavering trust in my eternal goodness, you magnify me. And each time you approach me with a heart full of gratitude, even before the dawn breaks on your situation, you are practicing a sacred rhythm that reshapes your very soul. You may wonder, how can I be joyful in times of trouble? My child, joy is not the absence of pain. It is the presence of me, your Lord, in all circumstances. It is the steadfast knowledge that I am with you, working all things for good, crafting beauty from ashes and leading you to streams of living water where your joy will be made full. Persist in your prayers, for persistence is the key to the door of spiritual maturity. It is the exercise that strengthens your faith muscles, teaching you to depend not on mortal strength, but on my immortal power. And as you grow in this spiritual discipline, you will see a transformation in yourself. The face you lift to me in prayer will start to reflect my glory and the life you live will be a testimony of my grace. You are crowned with glory, my precious one, for I have made you a little lower than the angels and have adorned you with honor 
Psalm 8.5 You are destined, not for the dust from which you came, but for the everlasting kingdom prepared for you. And in this kingdom, the trials of today will shine as jewels in your crown, each one a testament to your faith and my faithfulness. Therefore, arise each morning with expectancy in your heart. Psalm 5.3 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Present your request to me. Philippians 4-6 and together we will walk this journey hand in hand, heart to heart, until the day breaks and the shadows flee away. For now, rest in my embrace, find solace in my words, and let the peace of my presence envelop you as you trust in my unfailing love. You are my beloved, in whom I am well pleased. Hush now, your mind's relentless march into tomorrow's not yet born. Draw in a deep breath and let it anchor you to the here, to the now, where I am with you, always by your side. See, my child, when your heart looks for me with the joy of a smile within it, know that my own heart delights in you far more than you could imagine. Your every concern, the weight that bows your shoulders, I am here to share it. Speak to me. Share with me as intimately as a child confides in a loving parent. Call upon me, won't you? In your daily list of to-dos and must-happens, call out for my guidance. I yearn to set your priorities, not to burden, but to harmonize them with my eternal will for you. And as you dance through the moments of your day, keep your inner eye upon me. Intertwine your tasks with thoughts of me and see how your joy blooms like a rose in the warmth of the sun. Yes, in bringing me into your work, into your play, into the mundane and the profound, you taste a sweeter flavor of effectiveness. And when the shadows of fatigue drape over you, remember, remember that I am your resting place. My arms, they do not weary. They are strong and forever open to cradle you, to offer solace and strength to rest in my embrace, to wait with me. It is the truest expression of trust. Trust that I am here. Trust that I manage what you cannot. Trust that I am ever present and always good. When the time comes to rise from our rest, to rejoin the day's bustling rhythm, bring me with you. Include me in your strategies, your sketches for the future. This, my child, will be your shield against the specter of worry. It will be the compass that guides you back to me, to my love, to the deep and abiding joy that I offer. As you move forward, remember the lilies of the field, how they grow without toil or spinning. And yet, I clothe them in splendor, unrivaled by the richest of kings. How much more then will I care for you? Do not succumb to the siren call of anxiety over what tomorrow may hold, for it is I who hold tomorrow. Each moment is a mosaic piece, lovingly placed by my hand. Trust in the masterpiece I am crafting with your life. Seek me in the stillness, seek me in the storm. Whisper, my name, and I will turn my ear to you. Hold fast to my promises like the anchor in a tempest sea, for I am steadfast unchangeable, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Turn your gaze to me, let it linger. Find in my presence the peace that eludes the grasp of those who know me not. I am here, not a breath away, in the quiet, in the chaos, in the ordinary and the extraordinary. I am the constant companion who delights in turning your struggles into victories, your tears into rivers of joy. Lean into me when the world pushes hard against you. Find in my words the truth that sets free, the love that casts out fear, the hope that burns eternal. Let my scriptures be the balm for your soul, the wisdom that lights your path, the love letter written in eternity's ink. Remember David, 
who sought my face with a heart of worship, even amidst his trials. He knew the secret, that in my presence there is fullness of joy, there is refuge, there is hope for every tomorrow. Like him, keep your eyes ever toward me, and I will make your path straight. Let your soul find its rest in me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. In me, your soul will find rest from the endless striving, the relentless chase after the wind. Here with me, you will find the courage to face each task, the wisdom for each decision, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Come now, rise, and as you step back into the stream of life, keep your hand in mine. Walk with me, work with me, watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace I offer. Do not be burdened by yokes of your own making. Take mine upon you, for it is easy, and my burden is light. Together let us face each day, each moment, and you will see. I am there in the quiet morning light, in the laughter of friends, in the beauty of creation, in the quiet resolve of your spirit. There is no place, no situation, no emotion where I am not fully with you. So breathe, my child, breathe. Step forth into this day, not alone, but with me, your God, your friend, your eternal guide. I am here now and always, beckoning you into a life lived fully, joyously, and in sweet communion with me. Amen. My beloved child, in everything you will succeed. I've already promised this and I will make it happen. Why worry when my powerful hand shields, comforts, and protects you? Do not fear, do not be troubled, do not faint, do not be disheartened. The love I have for you is so immense and wonderful that if you could see it with your own eyes, you would jump with joy a thousand times and cry tears of happiness. Please listen to me. Let me speak first. Then you can share your heart. But before we continue, I have great news. Tomorrow, when you wake up, start your day with gratitude for your life and let me put a radiant smile on your face. I want you to begin your day with my words on your lips, singing spiritual songs, praying with the Psalms, and at night, close your eyes feeling thankful for all the blessings and even the challenges you face that day. Rest your head on that pillow that has seen your tears. But now, let joy emerge from your heart. The joy I am instilling within you. Turning it into a song of praise. I love you. Believe and understand that my love goes beyond your past experiences. I know many have let you down and left you feeling alone. You expected love from them, but instead you faced deceit and saw your hopes trampled. Yet I reached out, lifting you with tenderness. You confessed your mistakes and sins and I forgave you. My forgiveness is forever. I will not change my mind even if you falter again. I will not bring up your past mistakes, for by the power of my blood and my resurrection, the chains that once held you are broken. No addiction, no bad habit, no negative emotion, nor anyone or anything in this world can bind you again. They do not have the strength to undo what I have accomplished. I forgave you, set you free, took away your pain, healed your soul, and covered you with my loyalty. I lifted you with my love, and now your heart is pure and innocent again. You have the soul of a child. I looked at you with kindness even before the world was made. I knew your name, and your destiny was written in my book. Since then, I've waited for your birth to gently guide you on every path you take. I saw with great sadness how some mistreated you, neglecting their duty, failing me when they ridiculed and pushed you aside. Yet, here I am, constant and steadfast. 
I will never leave you nor forsake you. So I urge you, come to me with all your faith in those moments when you seek me. Ask with confidence, for I know you won't ask for trivial things. I know your heart. Let me tell you I am aware of your thoughts even before you think them. So I ask you, when you come into my presence, come with respect and passion. Bring that simple faith like a tiny seed. The faith you bring will be planted in the soil of the supernatural and nourished by your tears. Your dreams will come true, your wishes fulfilled, and with your own eyes you will see the miracles you thought were impossible. Therefore I tell you again, do not be afraid, do not worry. Your problems are serious, but I have the power to solve them. I'm not suggesting you forget everything and lower your guard. I'm not telling you to neglect your responsibilities or forget that I've entrusted you with important tasks. I'm simply urging you to stop letting irrational fears control your thoughts and spirit. No problem or conflict in this world can permanently shake or defeat you. It's normal to face difficulties, but expect that in every situation you encounter, I will perform even greater miracles in your life. I know your weaknesses, and sometimes you feel unworthy of receiving my blessings. Make a promise today. Tell me that you will believe, accept my forgiveness, hold tight to this wonderful love, and from now on, wake up every day sure of who you are. A child of the Almighty protected under my wings, your protector, your God, your friend. Tell me you will, and also ask me now for everything you need with this beautiful and supernatural faith. I love you. Focus only on my voice. Be calm as tears of serenity fill your eyes with these clear and powerful words that resonate within your heart. Listen to me. Ignore the many noises that confuse your mind and cause anxiety. I understand your feelings. I know loneliness and sadness. I know the pain of being abandoned by those you love, left forgotten, and never returned to. I know you're experiencing the worst kind of rejection, all because you gave your love freely. I felt this too. We both give our love to those around us with dedication and passion. Yet they see us differently and often fail to lend a hand when we are struggling. You and I, we both enjoy giving everything we have, pouring our lives into our actions, even sacrificing our own needs to care for those we love, showering them with affection. You have shown your family love, yet it seems they don't recognize or appreciate your sacrifices, your pain. I see your suffering and for your distress, I offer a reward. Today, you will rise again. Today, you will start to love life anew. Today, you will be reborn. Today, you will realize the extent of my eternal love, my genuine affection. You will know how deeply you are loved and that no enemy can ever pull you away from my side. Let go of the past. I want your hands free to receive the blessings that are about to come your way. They will lift you from sorrow and lead you to places where you can grow and prosper. You are blessed because your soul has cried out, and for you I have prepared a crown, a spiritual blessing for you to enjoy, cherish, share, and increase. Now is the time for you to act on my word, and leaving the past behind, focus on the future, on your ultimate goal. Don't seek happiness by dwelling in the chains of bitter memories or depend on people who aim to destroy the plans I have set for you. If you trust me, fully believe in the powerful purpose I have for you. I am giving you mighty gifts, great talents, ideas and dreams, new skills, and even those you have yet to uncover. All this is true. I have equipped you with the power to succeed wisely. Stand up. Knock on doors, and they will open for you. No one can close the doors that I open for you. I do not want to see you sitting, 
lost in thoughts of a life filled with dreams that were never achieved. Such aspirations do not align with my plan. I want you to walk confidently toward a guaranteed success. Certainly, the journey won't be easy. You will need to fight, but do not be afraid, for heavenly angels will surround you in battle. My word will be your sword, your faith, your shield, my spirit, your standard, your passion for life and action, the force that keeps you going. Do not hesitate or be afraid, for despite your mistakes and imperfections, nothing and no one can separate you from my love if you just believe. Stand up, and if you stand, then walk. And if you walk, don't delay or look back, because I'm waiting for you at the end of your journey with your blessings in my hands. My strong arm is always ready to help you, even when you feel distant or discouraged, because I understand and continue to love, protect, and cherish you. Ignore negative voices. Remember my instruction to stay strong. And don't let your emotions control your thoughts, behavior, or actions. Don't let the disappointments of life weaken your faith, because I have always been by your side. Even in your weakest and most distant moments, I encourage you to keep your faith, no matter how small it may seem. My spirit and my word affirm this today. Never stop believing. Do not fear the opinions of others, for I am your helper. You are not someone who gives in to fear. You are courageous, even in the toughest times. You will walk through fire unburned, cross rough waters unharmed. Don't be disheartened, for I am with you wherever you go. I will never forsake, react, or abandon you. I am always ready to listen, understand, forgive, and bless you beyond what you can imagine. This is my eternal promise. My love for you is everlasting. Entrust today into my hands. Have faith and doors will open. Storms will pass, victory will come, and your blessings will arrive. Don't give up now, stand firm. I give you the strength and wisdom you need to overcome this challenging time. I will shelter you under my wings, where no enemy can reach you. I will lift you up and comfort you with my love when you feel tired. I'm filling you with hope and excitement, which will energize and invigorate you. I want to and can change your life, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Pay close attention to what I tell you, my child. Even if you don't understand how or why you are in this world, because there is a valuable, powerful, an extremely important reason. You're here to fulfill the dreams I've given you, to do marvelous things. You are not here by luck or chance. I chose to create you and put you in this world to be a blessing to yourself and others. Strengthen your faith, hold your head high, and smile, for you have already overcome past challenges and have become wiser and stronger. I have chosen you despite your mistakes and the times you forget about my ever-present help, because I see you as a person of success, respect, and blessings, fulfilled and blessing others. I have blessed you with the gift of love, forgiveness, and support, encouraging you to show my love through your actions, touching many lives and hearts. I'm boosting your faith to new heights now, and if needed, I'll remind you every day to keep your eyes on me. Do not fear, for I am your helper. Do not be discouraged, for I love you. Trust in me and move forward, for I am with you. From today onward, expect miracles and blessings. I am your shepherd, and you will not be in want. You overflow with love. My help is just a prayer away. Seek me every morning and I will lead you to lush pastures where you can rest and drink from peaceful waters. I am inspiring within you a fervent wish to live, to persevere, to succeed, and never to give up on your dreams. Today, you will believe in my word. Your soul will understand that victory over all challenges and hardships is within your reach. 
you will achieve victory, even in your toughest situations, and you will find peace in the midst of troubles. You can do this because I'm giving you the strength, resilience, and steadfast faith to overcome any adversity that tries to bring you down. You have opened your heart to me, making me your God and Lord. This is your most important decision. The adversary may try to thwart your plans, but come to me in prayer before you start your tasks. Entrust your life to me completely, and I won't leave you adrift. I will protect and prosper you in all your worthwhile endeavors. Many things have remained undone out of fear, many dreams unfulfilled because of doubt. But today I give you the wisdom to organize your life and priorities, the strength to achieve great goals that will amaze even those closest to you. I am filling your mind with my word, transforming your spirit and heart. Feel free to approach me whenever you feel burdened, doubtful, or engulfed in the darkness. My Holy Spirit is always ready to respond if you call on me in faith and align with my will. On the journey towards true abundance, peace, and prosperity, I will lead you. Always I will guide you. Tell me with all your heart and soul that you believe this. Those who try to undermine you will be embarrassed. Those who try to drag you down will fall into the pit they dug for themselves. Those who oppose you, those who turn away from you, those who criticize and judge you, bringing only trouble and affliction, are playing with fire. They are making a serious mistake. It is dreadful to fall into the hands of the living God. I tell you this plainly, so you can be at peace and not be upset or change your plans or hide at home because of those who offend you. I made you brave. Now you just need to trust me. I made you strong. Put my words into practice. I made you wise and intelligent. Don't be intimidated by those who threaten your job or insult your children. I won't let any neighbor, enemy, co-worker, or fake friend destroy your life or take what's yours. You are not a coward. I've told you this a thousand times. But if you decide to conform to what others think, then you're ruining your own happiness, provision, and the abundant joy I've placed in your heart. If you're afraid of rejection, if you're trying to please everyone, if it hurts when someone scowls at you or raises their voice, I'm telling you now, don't be afraid anymore. Trust in me. I will give you victory. Just take my hand. Your enemies are already defeated and powerless. They may shout like frogs by the river, but their strength is nothing more than noise. They can't hurt you unless you choose not to believe me and mock what I say. If you think this voice talking to you is just your imagination and you don't trust in the written word that once strengthened you, then what will you do? I want to keep things simple for you. If you really believe in me, you are already victorious and strong. But if you don't believe and give up, then you're handing over your victory and blessings to your enemies. I truly want to protect you. I hold you in my hands and won't let you go. But you need to put in effort. Keep your faith alive each day. Open your Bible. Learn a little more every day, even if it's just for a few minutes, because I want to speak to your heart. I want to make you different and genuine, so you don't have to degrade yourself before the wicked or get caught up in lies and sins to please others. I want you to have your own strong character, resistant to manipulation, to learn to say no to sin and mistakes so that no one can force you to do things that don't bring peace to your heart. You are the salt of the earth. You give flavor to life's situations. While everyone else runs from their problems and lives in spiritual misery, burdened by vices and bad habits, neglecting their mental health, you are different. My Holy Spirit fills your heart and my angels march before you.
You don't run backwards, you don't dwell on the past, crying over the trash that once bound you. Are you still listening? Do you need me to be even clearer? The power of your victory grows when you stand up against the things and people who crush your spirit. It's a daily battle. You live surrounded by people who truly believe they have no future that nobody loves them as I say I do, and who also believe the terrible lie that eternity does not exist. Tell them to look around. They think they are so wise, yet they are surrounded by eternity and still can't see it. I love you so much that I gave my life for you through my sacrifice on a painful cross. But I rose with power by the glory of the Holy Spirit who protects you day and night. That same power now burns in your heart, confirming to your soul that it is I who speak to you the same yesterday, today, and forever. My powerful voice brings healing to your life and cannot be imitated. You know me, and when you hear me, you find peace. Celebrate with me, for your victory is assured. Rise above your enemies and accept the challenge I give you, for I am always with you. You must fulfill my purpose. Your dreams will come true. I am your almighty God, the one speaking to you now. My glory surrounds you. Nothing and no one will ever defeat you. But be brave and tell me you believe it. You are strong, wise and brave, and you will be victorious in all that you face. You will conquer all the challenges that come your way. So don't give up now, even if it feels like the world is falling apart around you. Do not fear, for I am here to defend and fight alongside you until the end. I know some wish to destroy your happiness, but they will fail. You are courageous and can face any adversity. I strengthen your arms and provide the wisdom you need. Each day before you start, bow your knees, humble your soul. When you face a battle, I go ahead of you, clearing obstacles, breaking down barriers, and removing enemies from your path. Everything will be all right. Even when you feel weary, I will give you time to rest. I will replenish you with abundant health and new strength, so you rise rejuvenated and energetic, confident that you will succeed. My mercy will always accompany you, and my love will forever be yours. Child, embrace this gift of love and renewed strength that I offer you today. Be completely assured that you can overcome this battle and any other challenges that come your way. I will transform what you see as weaknesses into great reserves of resilience and determination. Right now I'm removing all traces of depression and feelings of inadequacy that have stopped you from getting up when you've fallen, from trying again. I am clearing away the anxiety that fills your mind with doubt and fear, stealing your sleep. It's time for you to lead a life of quality. Your moment for happiness has come. Today I am holding your hand and helping you. Today I will show you how strong you really are. You could not have imagined your own strength as I hold you in my arms. Today I want to show you that you can conquer all those wonderful dreams you've had. I am giving you the power to become a warrior who wins every battle. You can do this because my spirit is within you. My angels will accompany you. Stand up with faith and courage, for victory is ahead, bringing marvelous blessings. Tell me that you believe. You have presented your heart before me. You have prayed with simplicity and faith, and I want you to know that I love you deeply. I will not let you fall. Today, I will strengthen you. I will give you a heart that is fearless in the face of challenges. I want you to stand and walk with confidence, knowing that I am there, even if unseen or unfelt. Do not fear. Proclaim yourself strong and you are not a helpless victim or a coward filled with fear. The words I speak to you raise a shield around you, strengthening your arms to wield your sword, equipping you with the ability to face the battle and come out victorious. 
The enemy might try to scare you with shouts and threats, just like before, when you would freeze in fear, trapped by terror. But today, everything changes. You are listening to me. I'm telling you myself. After hearing these words, you will transform once and for all. Listen to me and see yourself for who you really are. You are deeply loved. You are incredibly brave. You do not shy away from challenges like others might. You are strong and distinct, marching forward boldly, because you know that, with my love and power, you have everything you need to succeed. You don't have to wait years, months, or even days to stand up with faith and fight for your happiness. Today is your day. Listen to my words, for they are true. I am reaching out my hand to you, for you to grasp it and walk firmly with confidence. Knock on the doors today, for I will open them. Walk in with determination and trust into the new life of joy, peace, abundance, and prosperity that I'm ready to give you. This is how it will be, no matter how difficult your situation may seem. Never forget how great and mighty I am. Find shelter under my protection if you feel distressed. Rest on my shoulder and share your worries if you feel troubled. Give me all your fears and anxieties. My grace and mercy are plentiful. I love you deeply and I am here to help you. You are my child and there should be no doubt about that. You have opened your soul to me, welcomed me into your heart and loved me with all your strength. And this brings me joy. Therefore, you have the right to come before me and speak openly, clearly and without fear. Think about what you're doing as you prepare to discipline yourself. I placed you in this world, chose you before you were born, and I'm aware of your struggles, strengths, dreams, and weaknesses. I'm not angry with you when you make mistakes and fall. Do not run away from my presence when you feel guilty. Who else will you turn to? To someone who claims to care and love you, but ends up betraying and speaking ill of you? The happiness you seek. Where will you find true friendship, understanding, and love in abundance? It is here in my presence. I am not looking for your faults because I already know them, nor am I waiting for you to fail so I can turn away from you. On the contrary, when you try to distance yourself, my spirit reaches out to you. If you try to leave my love, I will come to you and lead you back to the river of tranquility, where you can drink from the living and refreshing water you long for. Therefore, I urge you again, never forget even in your darkest moments that I love you dearly. My love and power are available to you, ready to lift you from despair, to fill your life with purpose and joy, and to restore the courage and encouragement you've lost. Believe in me, feel deeply loved and protected, for this was true, is true, and will always be true. In common peace, I fill your heart with serenity, so you no longer need to worry or fear, or feel like giving up when challenges come your way. Don't let anxiety take over or be overwhelmed by fear. If your emotions start to cloud your judgment, I will turn every negative situation into a positive one. I will transform your troubles into great blessings. Answers are coming soon. I will speak to your soul, revealing my will and providing solutions to your problems. In my presence, as you cry out and pray, it brings me joy. Listen to me now. I want you to seek me, to pray, to find comfort in my words. When your expenses pile up, when you're overwhelmed by many responsibilities and solutions seem out of reach, my promise gives you the peace and strength to endure. You will overcome every challenge, for that is my will. I have the power and authority. When I command, your miracle will happen. Write it down yourself. Trusting in me, God, 
is always the best and only solution to any problem in your life. Declare it loudly. I believe and trust. I shall not fear or falter. I will strive and persevere with all my strength. Even when I feel exhausted, I will kneel before my God to be filled with power. Now answer me with all your heart. Do you love me? Ahead of you lie victories and blessings. I have a plan for you and no matter the opposition, it will be realized. Now there's no need to pick up crumbs thrown by others. You have your own blessings and a heavenly father who welcomes you into his loving arms. He heals you, lifts you up, brings you prosperity and always looks after you. Those who made you stumble will regret it. Those who look down on you will learn a lesson they'll never forget for opposing you. I defend those I love and I will make all your enemies flee. I am clearing your path of obstacles and conflicts. So seize this moment. Don't stay in your room, lamenting the past, shouting into the wind uselessly. You will no longer long for the insincere embrace of those who scorned you and sought your ruin. I hope you don't love those who are ungrateful more than you love me. By my side, you'll find a life full of joy, a feeling so wonderful, it's beyond what you've ever imagined. I have a powerful reason for you to live. I'm creating a path that leads to your dreams. You don't need to look back. No one in your past loves you as deeply and cares for your well-being as I do. I want you to feel loved and protected by a supernatural God. I'm not interested in material possessions. Gold, silver, and precious stones don't impress me. What touches me is your faith and sincerity. If you truly want change, if you want to live life fully, appreciate every moment, use your talents and resources to bless others, starting with your family. And if you long to tell the world about love, forgiveness, and salvation, about a way a truth, and how they can find the strength to get up and start over in my presence, then decide this for yourself. And if you need help, I'm here to extend my hand with joy. I will forever remove anything that hinders you from your path. So don't be sad when you stop receiving messages or greetings from those who deceive. On the cross, I gave my life so you could be free. You weren't born to live in emotional bondage. You won't have to yearn for the approval and attention of false lovers anymore. I'm giving you the spirit of love, self-control, courage, and honesty. If you must face people from your past or walk through situations that once hurt you, do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will quiet those who oppose you and defeat those who mock you. You will walk through adversity unscathed, your clothes, hair, and feet will not be harmed as before. Today, in my holy name, you will face these challenges, and through my Holy Spirit, you will overcome them. Tell me with faith that you believe in me. Strengthen your faith. Immerse yourself in my word and remember all my promises. They are your shield and sword in the face of trouble. Who stands with you? The Most High God Almighty. King of kings, Lord of lords, majestic in power and authority, he gives you the strength to win. Respond to me, I want to hear you. Feel how these words revive your faltering faith and reignite your desire to succeed. Listen, take in these words and believe them. There's no bad habit or vice you can't overcome. The enemy holds no power over you. You must believe this. No sorcery, enchantment, or spell can harm you. Forces of evil may surround you, but they only offer empty threats, seeking to instill fear. Fear is the only thing that can hold you back. Stand strong, brave heart. I grant you my authority to rise above the conflicts that have tried to rob you. Today, your chains are broken. The despair that weighed you down, the emotions that overwhelmed you, and the painful memories all end now. Give me your hand and let us move forward towards success and blessings. Come back tomorrow. Hear my words again 
and I will provide you with more living water from the eternal rock, my Holy Spirit, continuously filling you with my encompassing love and supernatural presence, which will never leave you. I say it again because I know it brings you joy and peace. I love you. Amen. If you receive this declaration, type yes, if you're ready, and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications type 777 if you believe this, like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you, God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child type. Amen.